Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. I'm out shopping at the Valley Artisans and Vintage Market here in Conway, New Hampshire. And I thought you guys might want to come with me and take a look around. It's my first time in here. Uh, and there was a lot of cool things. A lot of cool furniture, antiques, knickknacks. Just a lot of neat stuff. They had Dixie Belle paint which I thought was pretty neat. I hadn't seen any anywhere near me, so that was pretty neat. Um, so now I have a place to get some if I want it. Uh, they also had some, uh, some other kind that I wasn't familiar with before, but I'm sure it's just as good. So I'm gonna um, just let you guys sit back and, and look around with me, and I may come in every once in a while and make a couple comments. There was a few things that um, I saw that I may say something about, but for the most part I just thought you guys might want to just look around and check it out with me. So this wire bird cage caught my eye. I thought it was kind of cool. At $35, I didn't really think it was something that I could purchase and maybe put something in it and sell it for to make any kind of profit. So, um, you know, I think it was more for something just to buy for yourself than to flip it. But I thought it was pretty anyway. I also like this table runner. I thought this was really nice. This is um. Primitives by Kathy, I believe the tag said. Um, I like a lot of her things, but um, I didn't go for that one either. It wouldn't really match my decor, but uh, I thought it was really pretty anyway. So this hutch caught my eye uh, first thing when I came around the corner and then as I got closer I saw that it had the uh, roosters on it, chickens and roosters, and I was like, oh I love chickens and roosters. Um, and I was thinking that if the style didn't match I could paint it like I did my little rooster that I got from Goodwill, um, but the prices again uh, was a little, a little too much for me. These little salt and pepper shakers were really cool. Um, they look like wood around them. I'm not really sure if it was real or not, but they were pretty neat.
So I saw this uh, dry sink I thought was really pretty. I like the burgundy color of it. Um, pardon the finger, sorry about that. Didn't realize I was holding it like that. But I was checking it out because I have gotten these before and redone them. Uh, I believe the tag said $125 for that. And uh, I had one that I sold for $115. So I thought that was uh, pretty neat. I'm not sure if it was sealed though. It didn't really feel, you probably saw me running my hand on it. It felt just like it wasn't sealed, just like paint uh, and no sealer on it. So I don't know if it was, but it was really pretty. Somebody did a very good job on it. And uh, I really like this rooster trivet. I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, there was some more furniture there. I liked uh, some of the cabinets they had in there. Really pretty. But after this, then I turn around and head upstairs. resist going through these old records. Some of these brought some songs to mind and I was singing them in my head as I could. As I was reading the record fronts I was going, oh yeah, I remember this one, I remember this one. <laughs> so see if you recognize any of those yourself and start to sing in your head or even out loud some of those songs. Those are some old ones in there. Thank you. 
we're nearing the end of our shopping trip of the Valley Artisans and Vintage Market in Conway, New Hampshire. If you guys are ever in the area, stop by and check it out. Take a little browse. It's a really nice place. Um, and you'll probably find some cool things to buy. Thanks for coming shopping with me, guys. And we will see you next time. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.